Hi Floss Tube. My name is Laura and welcome to my channel Loves Rubber Stamps Needle Crafts. I'm here for Floss my Floss Tube video number 10 and it is April 11th of 2020. Um, life has really changed since my last video with the virus. Hope everybody is staying safe and is able to stay home and just try to get through this time. I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot because I know we're all tired of hearing about it and we're all affected. So um, just kind of briefly for us, um, our life hasn't really changed that much. Uh, my husband and I are both considered essential employees. I work for the police department and he works for the power plant to keep your electricity on. So we both still have to go to work. Um, our employers have really done a good job as far as limiting our contacts with the public and um, trying to do everything they can to keep us all safe when we have to go into work. So that's good. Um, so when we're not working, we are staying home. My husband is going to his shop to work on his race car and I just stay at home and do what I usually do. Hang out in my craft room, watch TV, play with the dogs. Um, we've been doing online ordering for our groceries. Um, currently there's so many people doing it that whenever you place your order, you it takes about three days to set your pickup time. So always try to do that in advance. And that's been working pretty good. Um, one silly thing, uh, I had tried to order a ham for Easter dinner. And when I got my order Friday, um, you can choose to have them swap out or substitute your groceries for something similar if they're out of what you're looking for or what you ordered exactly. <laughs> so I had ordered a little like one pound ham to make for my husband and my kids for Easter dinner and they were out of ham so they substitute it with shaved deli ham. So Easter dinner is going to be probably not ham. <laughs> If it is, they're going to have hot ham and cheese sandwiches because I don't know what else to do with shaved deli ham. But I know that they're trying and we appreciate all the grocery workers and the, everybody that still has to be in the public like that. I know it's probably pretty scary for them and, and really hard. So we appreciate the jobs that they do. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So just hope everybody is staying safe and... Um, is doing okay getting through this time. Hopefully this is over soon. I know we all are ready for it to be. So back to cross stitching. Um, since my last video, I uh, worked on my King Coda and I think if I remember correctly, I've either completed one rotation or possibly two. I, was, I wrote down that I did two, but I could be making that up. I might have only done one and then had hopes to do a second one before this video. But um, if not, um, this is my King Coda. It's a super size heaven and earth designed by Amy Stewart. Um, Max Colors. King Coda Storyteller. And if I did two full rotations on this since last time, I would have completed page three and started page four. If I only did one rotation and I made up the second one, then I would have just done the first two rows on page four. So because this is on my, um, I have a Mark II floor stand for my super size heaven and earth, so it's really big and really long. I had to do a separate video to show you my progress. So I'll go ahead and insert that video here. Here's a quick video of where I am currently on my 
super size max color heaven and earth design called King Coda. I believe that since last time I finished this page, the bottom two rows horizontally, and then I started on page four and I completed the first two horizontal rows in the pattern on page four. So pages one, two, and three are complete. I'm currently working on page four. And the way I work this rotation is every time this comes up for my rotation, I complete two horizontal rows in the pattern. So next time I work on it, I'll do the next two horizontal rows. And that means that every fourth time that I work on this project, I get a page finish. Back to the regular video. And then for my work piece, um, I've pretty much just worked on my other heaven and earth. Um, New Girl 3 by Beck Winnell. That's what it will look like finished. And I've been working on this one a lot because I wanted to get a page finished because I was pretty close. But it always looks like you're really close and the pages are deceiving. So it ends up taking you a lot longer than you think because you have all the confetti pieces and stuff. And this I keep in my uh, Little Yellow House Crafts project bag. I bought that from Nell when she was selling her bags. And here's where I am on this. So I know since last time I I did finish page, uh, what page is that? That'd be page three. One, two, this is page three. And now I've went down and I'm working on the page below it. And I think it's page 12 or 13. Let me look here. All my stuff just fell. So this page is page 12 that I'm working on now, which is the one below it. I think after I get done with page 12, I'll end up having, I'll have to move my key snap over. So I'm getting kind of excited. This is the, looks like it's the piece of hair that comes over her forehead. So I'm hoping that in the next page I get to do, start on her face. I am with that one. Yeah, on one second. Okay. Sorry about that, my stuff fell. Stuff piled everywhere. And then um, after King Coda, I uh, I know I talked about this in my last video, but I was going to do a rotation um, at, in between my King Codas. I have all my whips in here, like a little drawing, and I have opportunities for new starts to be able to draw for too. And the first one I drew um, was a magazine start of Palooza. And what that is going to be, I have a ton of cross stitch magazines and I want to start doing the projects that I want to stitch out of them. So the magazine starter palooza is where I pick one of my magazines. This is the one I chose this time and I flip through it and any of the projects that you, when I flip through it and I'm like, Oh, I need to stitch out right now. I'm going to start those. So then hopefully that will help me work through my stash of magazines. So out of this one, I had already stitched the little chickadee pattern. Let's 
still in my whip bin because I still need to finish it, but I had stitched this one already. So when I went through there, there were still two more patterns in this magazine that I really wanted to stitch. So my rotations for my projects are, I try to stick to around 12 hours of work. Um, it works better for me to do time instead of days because I don't get a stitch every day. So because there were two projects that I wanted to stitch out of this, I worked on each project for about six hours. So the first one I started was this one called A Cozy Winter's Glow. And it's an exclusive Forever Friends design to this magazine. So I'm just stitching this one on I think it's 14 count Ada, I believe. And that's where I got. I just did the white 14 count because the way the design is, it kind of starts to, you fade out and it blends into the background. So I basically just worked on the fur of his coat. And then I did some white down there that's kind of hard to see, but that goes around his little lantern. And then the second design in here that I wanted to stitch gotta claim some water on Farmville That's what my computer just told me uh, let's see the 12 days of Christmas by Joan Elliott is in this magazine So I went ahead and started that and I'm stitching this one on 28 count Opal Lugana. And here's where I got to, on this. I just started in the upper left hand corner. It did that first little snowflake. There's some blank spots in there because I have to, it has beads. And then I started on some of that border. This blank spot here is where the angel's wings go. So this whole thing gets filled in. This is going to be, I think it's one of those pieces that are very deceiving as far as how much stitching there is. Because these pieces are pretty much full coverage inside there. So I really love this design. Uh, Miss Oso oh Crafty had stitched this one uh, recently and she's got it finished. So it's really pretty. So I'm almost, I'm pretty close to my 12 hour mark on this one. Um, I might have just maybe about another hour or so left to work on it. And then I'll get to switch projects again. So those were the last two that I wanted to stitch in here. And if you're looking for this issue, it's the world of cross stitching and it's the British ones. And this is issue number 118. And then uh, last night, I, my mom and I did our first virtual stitch night since we can't have stitch night in person. Um, I FaceTimed her on the phone and we both started a new project last night. We both had the same kit. Mom had actually gotten it for me for a gift um, probably a year or two ago now. And um, it's a Vervaco kit and it's um, of Jesus. Looks like that. And I told mom with what all is going on in the world today and with it being Easter weekend, it'd be a great time to start this project when we need a little having a rough day or just need some extra prayers or TLC or some Jesus time. I told mom we could pull out our kits and have a little Jesus time. 
So we both started this last night while we were FaceTiming and here's where I got on mine. And I'm just using the kit. It comes with 14 count cream, Ada. And it's only got nine colors. So this is the start of his nose and then his cheek. And then this is actually the side of his face there. So I'll probably just work on him when have a rough day or, you know, and working on it, just kind of say a few little prayers of protection for our family during this time. And I thought that would be a perfect weekend to start to and a good time to stitch him during these crazy times. So those are the whips that I worked on this time. So, um, pretty much all that's going to be left in my video is going to be my haul. And since probably the beginning of March, I haven't really bought very many things. Um, just because with everything being so uncertain right now, um, just slowed down the buying. Um, because I used to buy a lot. Um, but since my last video, I did get in um, some kits that I ordered from mybobbin.com. And I ordered some for from Mercristacom. And um, I had purchased some project bags and stuff. So I do have things to show you. And I've gotten in some of my fabrics of the month and some of my subscription stuff. So uh, before we do go into my haul though. Um, on my last video, I, it was my floss tube anniversary, and I was going to do a giveaway, um, to a $20 gift certificate to one, two, three stitch, or the person could choose if they lived overseas, a gift certificate to Lakeside Needlecraft. So it would save them on shipping or because I like heaven and earth designs. I said that the winner could choose one large heaven and earth pattern, one regular size, sorry, one regular size or super size um, pattern, or they could choose two mini size or two of the quick stitch. Um, so I had 18 entries for the gift certificate. And I want to thank everybody that took the time to watch the video and leave a comment and tell me what their favorite whips were. It was really interesting to read everybody's comments and I really appreciate everybody that entered and watched. Um, so I went ahead and did the drawing using random number generator. And so I will insert that video of the winner getting chosen here. Hey everybody, I'm here to do the drawing for my $20 gift certificate. Uh, you could choose to get it from one, two, three stitch. You could get it from Lakeside Needlecrafts if you're overseas and want to save on shipping. Or you could choose a Heaven and Earth design. I will do one regular size pattern. Or you could choose two mini size patterns or two of their quick stitches. Um, I'm going to go, this is the list of all the comments. And if they specified where they wanted to get the gift certificate, I wrote that down as well. And I'm just going to do the random number generator. So we'll go ahead and choose. There were 18 comments. So let me find my mouse. Hello, mouse cursor. There it is. We will switch that to 18 and we will generate the number. It's number 12. So let's see who that is. Number 12 is Jennifer Hannah, and Jennifer chose one, two, three stitch. So congratulations, Jennifer. I will make a comment on your comment and give you the instructions on how to get a hold of me. Thanks everybody for leaving your comments. I really appreciate it. So again, congratulations to Jennifer Hanna. 
Um, I really appreciate you entering and love reading your comment. Um, I will go ahead and, like I said, put a comment on yours to let you know that you're the winner. And you can just send me an email. My email is lovesrubberstamps at yahoo.com. And, or you can uh, send me a private message on Instagram. Uh, my username is the same as I use here. So, uh, whichever way, and as soon as I hear from you, I will get that purchased and sent over to you so you can order yourself some stitchy goodness. So, uh, the rest of my video is going to be haul based. So, if you do not like watching haul, um, I'll go ahead and bid you goodbye now. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that stopped by. And um, again, stay safe, wash your hands, and um, we'll see you on my next video. If you're sticking around for the haul, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, first, I will share, I got two of my floss, two months worth of my floss of the month from Color and Cotton. This is February's pack. I get the all colors five pack. And that's these. The colors are Sea Spray, Khaki, Plum Wine, Sand Dune, and Persian Blue. Those are really pretty. And then I just got in my March colors. These are more uh, kind of springy, Easter-y colors. And this one is called Taffy. Glacier Blue really pretty. Chartreuse. Peach Cobbler. This one has some really pretty like kind of a tanny color with peach. Really pretty. And this one is Rhubarb. Which I was excited because last summer I planted a rhubarb patch and I noticed the other day that my rhubarb plants are starting to grow. So yay, rhubarb. And since this will be the second year, um, I'll get to pick some this year because they say that when you first plant them, the first year you're not supposed to pick any. And my plants got huge last year. I mean, it has some really good stalks, but I didn't pick any because you want them to be able to get strong and um, so they come back every year. So this year it says you can pick about half your heart half of the stocks if you want to and then next year it's a free-for-all you can pick as much as you want so I'm hoping to make some maybe strawberry rhubarb pies or strawberry rhubarb cobbler or something this summer so um, my next thing I'll show you is my fabric of the month from under the sea fabrics I got, this is Calliope, and I get 32 count linen. This is really pretty. It's kind of aqua blues, pink, and purple. It kind of reminds you of like a summer, kind of like a summer sunset almost. So that's really pretty. And then I got two months worth of my color and cotton fabric of the month. And I get two pieces from her each time. Um, I get one that's 32 count, 28 or 30. I think 28 or 32 counts that can be any color. And then I get uh, 
the higher counts. I think it goes to 40, 36 to 40, or maybe it's 32 to 40 in like a neutrals. So uh, my first piece I got was called Serenade, and this one is in a 32 count Lugana. And it's kind of like a gray, like a grayish blue. It's really pretty. And again, these pieces are the 13 by 17 size. I don't think I've gotten one color from her that I didn't like. Her, her colors and both her floss and her fabrics are just beautiful. So I would recommend, um, if you're looking for really pretty colors, definitely shop from Color & Cotton. My next one that I got was uh, called Stratus, and this one is a 32 count Belfast. And this is more of like a stormy blue with a little bit of a gray undertone. Then this is the one I This is the this is the one I got before those two. So this one is called Love Letter, and it's a 36 count linen. It's a really pretty kind of like a creamy peachy neutral. It kind of looks like old paper to me, like what you'd write old love letters on. That's probably why it's called old love or love letters, not old love old old. Ugh. Just love letter. And then I got this really pretty color, which is great for a spring piece. It's called Celeste, and this is a 32 count Lugana, and it's a really pretty teal. I don't know if this color is gonna show up right. Let's see. It's a little better. Yeah, it's a really pretty teal color. Really pretty color for spring. Okay, and then let's see. I can't remember if I showed these last time, so I'll show them again just in case. I bought these off of Stash and Load site from Olivia B. Um, Grim Gourds. It's a Plum Street. Their faces crack me up. And I thought this one was really cool that I got from her. It's called the Goblin Market. And it's by Counted Illuminations. But look at that little goblin guy. He's so cute. And she had put a little note paper in here of all the changes that she did and the colors that she used. So that's really cool. And I might have showed those last time. If I did, I'm sorry if I showed them again. Let's see. I had joined the Just Another Button Company's um, button of the Button Lovers Club, I guess it's called. And I this is my second one that I've gotten. And this one is called Happy spring buttons so in their button packs you get a party pack which is a bunch of different assorted sizes and colors this one has some texture buttons i wanted to build up my button stash because i don't really have a lot of buttons and sometimes i like to add them to the finished pieces you get a smoothie pack which is just smooth buttons in the same color scheme Then you get what's called a sprinkle pack, which are tiny, tiny buttons in the same colors. These are about the size that you find on like little Lizzie Kate's and stuff. 
And then you get a pack of happy buttons or like they're shaped buttons. So let me see if I can show you some of these. You get, um, they have a set that makes the word. So the word is happy. And it looks like in this one, I think this might be a balloon. Or you could probably use it as like a little pear if you wanted, I suppose. This looks like a little Easter egg. A couple little Easter eggs. And a little Easter basket. Another little Easter egg. This cute little frog. And here's another balloon. And there's these, there's three little tiny, tiny, they look like little pineapples or something. I don't think a pineapple would be purple, but there's a purple one, a yellow one, and a teal colored one. So I'm not sure what they are. They have little, little leafy things on their, on their heads. So I don't not quite sure. No, this little bunny. So, and then the buttons to spell the word happy. So those are fun. So, so far I've, I've liked my little button packs. I don't know how long I'll, how long I'll get them, but once I get a little maybe stash of buttons, then I'll discontinue. But so far I like them. They're cute. Um, and then, let's see, I got in at Crazy Annie's, I had joined their Sugar Stitches uh, Halloween Ornaments Club, and it's every month you get a new chart. So this is a new one that we got, Boo Brew Tea Room, and Sugar Stitches is the designer for these monthly ornaments, and I get the matching zappy dot, so it's just the design on a zappy dot and i know i've gotten another one in but i think it's upstairs and my husband's taking a nap so i'll show the newest one i got in my next video let's see and then i had ordered a few things off of ebay some little pack of charts i got this one from hot house petunia called turkey dressing. Silver Creek samplers. Grimes ghost. And it says, old Grimes is dead. We never shall see him more. Twas buried in a brown tweed coat all buttoned to the floor. And then this one from Sunflower Seed, it's called Tequila and Salt. When life hands you lemons, ask for tequila and salt. And then uh, someone was selling a pack of the Sandman Originals charts, so I order, I bought those. Um, so this one is called Magic. I love their snowmen, they're so sweet. That's why I have to get them because the snowmen are so cute. This one is Dare to Boo Different. This would be really cute if you use the different colors of the glow in the dark floss or those Krynic glow in the dark Krynics. That'd be cute to do because they have the different colored ones. This one is called Wahoo Winter. Wahoo Winter. This one is called Snowdrops. And this one came with the little buttons and noses. This one is called Frosty. Gobble Square. Their little turkeys are cute too. 
And I loved this one. This is the reason why I bought the pack. It was pumpkin time. I thought those little crows were so cute. And then the same seller had a couple of waxing moon designs. This one is quick and springy. And then nuts about autumn. So that was my eBay haul. I guess I had a couple more from eBay. Um, I had bought this off eBay. It's a Emma's Friends Stocking by Dimensions. And I have um, the, there's a design called, ooh, what's it called? Sunflower Snowman Kit. That's very similar. It's the snowman with this kind of hat. And I have that kit too. So I thought this was awesome to get the matching stocking for that. So, brand new kit. Again, it's called Emma's Friends Stocking. So I got that off eBay, and then I got this one off eBay. It's a, it's called Repost Tiger and Snow by Diana Lair Custom Crafts. You know me and tigers my favorite big cats which you're going to see in my kits because the majority of them are going to be my furry feline friends this one is kit comes with all the floss okay and then i'll go ahead and show you my market haul that i got um i'd ordered this from Teresa Kogut, it's the Happiness is Homemade there, the Nashville Needle Mar Work Market Cookbook. And it also has um, some charts. The designers made little charts. Let's see. Let's see if I can find one to show you without showing you the chart. There is one that, let's see if I can find my favorite. Sorry, I should have marked it before. Not all of them show the, I don't think all of them show the finished designs. Um, some of them are just the chart. Oh, come on. Well, here's one that you can see. Let me block the. This is by uh, Lindy. Oh no. Yeah, Lindy Stitches. Lindy Stitches chart. It says, Let us rejoice and eat cake. So they're just little charts like that by different designers in the book. With a lot of really yummy looking recipes. So I got that one. And then I placed an order with Stitches and Things because they had the um, kits for Lindy Stitches uh, Strutting Tom. And so I was able to get the kit that has all the stuff to finish it in the little pillow like that. And then also from Stitches and Things, I ordered the Teresa Kogut's... Uh, a work of heart cross stitch chart, the angel. And they also sent me a freebie from just another button company. I'll just flash it. It's a little, um, St. Patrick's Day design. So that's really nice. And then with needles and thing, or I'm sorry, needle case goodies. I ordered quite a few patterns from them from market. Um, and I also ordered this piece of fabric from Mountain Air Fabrics. I've never had their stuff. This one is called Woodland Halloween and it's a fat quarter and it's in the 32 count. But it's kind of a 
kind of like a navyish blue with orange, like burnt orange in it. It's really pretty. And this is a 32 count Belfast linen. So that I got that. And then I ordered the Humble Honey and the pins from Hands On Design. I got Blackberry Lane's Baby It's Cold Outside. I had to get this because the face cracked me up on this little bird. He looks so angry, which is exactly how I feel because we're supposed to get four inches of snow tomorrow. That's insane. It's April. I don't want any more snow. So I feel like this bird. I ordered The Magic of Christmas from Teresa Kogut. Strutton from Teresa Kogut. I love their little attitude. It cracks me up. Do, do, do. You can see him walking along. I got Snow Penny. Thought this one was so adorable. Little happy snowman. I ordered Wear Wool from October House. I just thought it was pretty. Love Always from Annie B's. That house was really pretty. I ordered Sweet Tomato from Scarlet House. Garden tomatoes are my favorite. I could live off them all summer. I usually eat tomato sandwich, which just make toast slice a garden tomato and because I eat vegan I use veganaise but before I switched to vegan I just use regular mayonnaise on toast with garden tomato it's delicious I got the sweetheart hill from Plum Street samplers I got Madame Chantilly's celebrate the 4th of July I ordered Consider the Lilies in the book from Heartstring Samplery. And I also ordered the His Eyes on the Sparrow. I didn't have this one, so I ordered it in the book. Really like all the critters in this one. I fell in love with Teresa Kogut samplers when I saw her video where she shared them, her models. So I had to pretty much order most of them. I got Heaven and Nature. And the floss too bitchy knows. I got Pet All the Dogs. And this one was one of my favorites. The New Castle Bouquet. I think it's because the birds remind me of cardinals. And I like to stitch cardinals for my grandparents. In honor of them. So I'm always drawn to patterns that have red birds or pat cardinals. <clears throat> then I ordered her Celebrate book. And this one has 15 designs in it, but they're, these are the only two pictures, so I can't show you the, it's just the charts. But there's a lot of really cute charts in here for different seasons. Some Halloween ones, winter, a lot of really good charts. So that was my market haul that I got. Move this out of my way. <clears throat> then I ordered some kits from Merkrista Crown Mer on Etsy. It's a Russian. Russian site and if I can I'll link the I'll try to put the names of the shops and stuff in the description I don't know if I can do links but if not at least I'll have the names for you so you can look them up um, but these are the ones I got from Krista Krom I got Lily's Pride I love that one 
it's looks like it comes on 16 count Ada. And then I got, I'm not sure what this one's called. And I am not sure who the designer is, but it's a Zweigart base, it looks like. This tires. Told you, tigers, big kitties, they're my thing. Love them. Stitch them all. And then <clears throat> I got this one. It's a Nova Slo Sloboda. A little polar bear, baby. And this one, the fabric is uh, printed the black. Then it's like white around the edge. And then I got this kit to try from Panna. It's a little baby rabbit, but it's this like long stitches. And I wanted to try it. It's like more of an embroidery. So hopefully it won't be too difficult. It's a printed, printed picture. And you do the little... I hope I can figure it out because I think the when I looked at it the the pattern was just this is the little fabric it's all printed and then you just add the little stitches on top so I hope I can figure out how to do it if not that's really cute by itself I can make that in a little pillow and just say We'll see. So that's the first kit I'm trying like that. So we'll see how it goes. Not sure how it'll go, like I said, because I think I don't recall the instructions being in English, but I could be making that up. It might be in English. I looked at it a while ago, so. I was hoping just because it's little enough that I could figure it out. We'll see. So those were my kits I got from Mercrista Crom. And then I had placed an order with my bobbin. Um, they've been running several uh, sales if you subscribe to their emails. Um, where they send you emails and it's like 20% off certain designers. Um, so I, there was a, a designer named Elena Koshkina, K-O-S-H-K-I-N-A. Elena is A-L-E-N-A. And they had 20% off of her patterns, her PDFs. So I purchased six of the PDFs and I haven't printed them out. So what I thought I would do is just insert pictures of those six PDFs that I bought here. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to put the names on them. So just in case, um, I these are the names of them. Winter Cardinal. And then I ordered five of the Victoria Plum series of her charts. It was Victoria Plum in the Tiny Amaranth, which is the one that looks like a little robin. Victoria Plum in the Little Mouse. Victoria Plum in the Bumblebee. Victoria Plum writes a letter and Victoria Plum and the rabbit and I thought these would be really cute to do for maybe a seasonal piece I thought maybe the rabbit would be good for spring the bumblebee for summer the one with the little mouse for fall and then the one with the little robin winter robin for the winter one and then I thought the writes a letter would be cute maybe for Valentine's Day or something um, they were actually bigger than I thought they'd be. I think they're, if I recall, they're about 147 by 147. So they're pretty big. I was kind of surprised. So I'll, again, I'll um, insert those so you can see what those look like here.
And then I've placed, um, since then I've placed two orders when they had sales on their kits from my bobbin. I've only gotten one of my orders in. I'm still waiting for the other to arrive. So I know the last update was March 26th and it was still in Russia. So, and I ordered it at the beginning of March. So we'll see when it gets here. But I did get one of my orders of kits in. So I'll show you those. I got this one from An Anka. It's a little piggy. Another one from Anka. That's the baby Yorkie. We had a Yorkie named Jasper. He passed away when he was 12. He had a uh, blockage in his urethra. He went septic and it ended up killing him. But when they did the autopsy, they found that he had a cancer that was starting in that area. And even if we had gotten him the surgery and he would have made it through that for his blockage, they said he probably would have only had about six months because it was a very aggressive type cancer. So we had had him from the time he was eight weeks to when he passed away. He was my baby. So that's a baby Yorkie. And I got this one from Magic Needle, Taste of Summer. I love strawberries for summer, so I thought this was really pretty. And I got this one from Inca. I'm not sure what it's called. Probably Tiger, I'm assuming. Again, stitch all the tigers. That's me. I got this one from Panna. It's Polar Bear. Polar Bears. Got this one from Panna. Another tiger. I thought this one was neat how it looks like his paws coming through. Like he's popping out of the picture. Got this one. This one is from Panna. And Peaceful Jaguar. Let it stitch. This one from Magic Needle is lilacs. I love lilacs. They're my favorite summer flower. My grandma used to love lilacs too. I always want to. I want to plant a lilac bush in our yard, but I don't know where I'd put it. But I want one. And then my last kit that I got from them that's arrived is uh, this little baby polar bear. It's an Inca kit. My other order that hasn't came in yet has four more kits. So when they arrive, I'll show you what those look like. And then... I've gotten in a couple of my World of Cross-Stitching magazines that I subscribe to. This one is the March issue. There wasn't a whole lot I'd stitch in here, but I'll show you a few of them that I thought were cute. This is the this was the free kit. Little baby. I liked this one. It's by Maria Diaz called Nature's Charms. I wouldn't stitch this as a whole piece, but I thought what would be cute is like maybe just doing a little part, like maybe this little bird, because I like the colors in it. And you could do like little pillows. I like the little sheep. Do like little tiny spring pillows with different motifs. And then I liked this one by Doreen Jones. All guests must be approved by the dog.
And then I won't stitch this one, but I thought it was kind of neat. It's by Kay Widowson, and it's these really pretty fish, but look at their tails. So you add sequins. And it's got some specialty stitches. So I just thought that was really neat. Again, this isn't one I would stitch, but I thought it was pretty unique with the beads and the sequins. But it's really pretty in person. So that was pretty much it in that magazine. And then I got in my April issue. I subscribed to this one, like I said. This one had a few more. Um, this was the free kit that was some... Um, I think it's, I think these were Doreen Jones uh, cards and it came with the charms. But I liked this one by Jenny Barton, this Happy Easter. And I liked it because I thought the bunny was so cute. So I might just maybe figure out a way to stitch the bunny. And then in this issue, they announced that they're um, making a vintage style sampler from historical sampler company. And the first part was in this one. And that's what it will look like. Or that's the first part of the sampler. I kind of like it. And they showed um, what next month's will look like. And I'll try to show you without showing you a chart. But... Um, so we'll have something about April. It says April showers bring me flowers and it has a bunch of flowers. So that'll be the part next month. So it's gonna be a series. And then the other design I liked um, is this sewing roll that you put on the arm of your chair and it's got like pockets and a little pillow for your pins. I'll try to show you. Um, gives you the instructions on how to put it together, but this was kind of the design of it. So that was neat. And uh, this one is by Fabby Riley. And I thought this would be really cute just to do like the little boots with these little flowers. They're specialty stitch flowers. Make it into a little pillow. And then you could even, then I thought if I did it, I would do this frog with the umbrella separate and do another little pillow. I wouldn't stitch it together like that, but separate, separate, <laughs> separated. Um, to finish them separate. And then, there was this one by Doreen Jones called Greener Pastures. I thought those sheep were cute. And then it looks like in next month, I'm super excited about this. They always show a preview of next month's, but look at the tiger. Yay! I like it. So those are cute. And it looks like there will be some really cute cards. Look at the little turtle and the manta ray. So can't wait for that issue to get here. And then on eBay, I bought a couple of the cross stitch gold magazines from a lady. I got this one, which is issue 75. And I bought this one because I like those snowmen on the cover. So um, it's by Carol Thornton. And that's what the bigger picture looks like. And then there's a couple of Doreen Jones designs in here that are cute. This is Welcome Christmas. Then her other one that I really liked was uh, an advent calendar. It's also by Doreen Jones. And this lady that I bought these two magazines from, she sent me a free chart from Foxwood Crossings, Backyard Visitors. I love it. 
So that was a awesome surprise. Because I'll stitch all of those. I love birds. And then the other one I got um, from her was this issue. Issue 76. And they're pretty much out of this magazine. I would probably stitch all but maybe one or... I think there was two charts that just weren't my style. But all the rest were ones that I'd probably stitch. So this was an awesome issue. This one's by Jenny Barton. That was really pretty. Let me do this quick. Maria Diaz. This is for Santa. This is Doreen Jones. I love this. And again, I probably wouldn't stitch it all as one piece. I would do them individually, just certain ones. I love this. That little deer is so cute. But I probably stitch maybe this piece and make it into like an ornament or a pillow. And probably the bird. Maybe the tree. And just do individual little pillows or ornament ornaments for the tree. Then I liked this one. It's called Santa's Coming and it's by Jerry Jones again. And it's got the numbers so you could do a countdown. So that's cute. I loved this pillow by Carol Thornton. My husband loves deer, so this would be a really pretty one for fall or to do for your husband's like man cave or and then I thought these are really cute by Fiona Baker, these little mice. These would make some cute ornaments, I thought. So that's a good issue. Again, it's issue 76, if you like those. Let's see. And then another thing that I purchased, um, Stitching with the Housewives, I've purchased all of their little um, cup series so far. Um, they have six now. They, it looks like they released a new one today, so I purchased that. Uh, they're the PDF charts, so I'll just have to insert pictures of the ones um, here. And um, just in case I can't put the names of them on there, Hello Spring, Crunch, Peep, Farmhouse, Farm Charm. And it looks like the newest one that I've purchased today is called Wake Up. Uh, so again, I'll insert pictures of the PDFs here. And super exciting news um, with Stitching with the Housewives. They're designing, um, they came out with a couple of season, a seasonal series that they're going to be doing. And um, that they're going to allow printed charts and different stores. Um, if you have a store, which I have an online store called Loves Rubber Stamps and Neo Crafts. Um, and... I am just starting to add the cross stitch stuff to my store, so I don't have a whole bunch right now. Um, but I was able to place my order with them for their their new charts um, to put in my store. So I'll try to get these listed this week. But their first or one of their series is called um, Trucking Along: A Year of Vintage Trucks, and this is the first month, June. So I got these in for my store. And again, my store's name is Love's Rubber Stamps and Needle Crafts. And the website, if you go to my website, it's lovesrubberstamps.net. Um, 
but I'll be adding these this week. Got several copies, so of that one. And then um, their other series that they're doing is Penelope and Keith. And these this is called a sip of the seasons. And I was able to get this chart too. So I'm on their auto ship. So every time they release a new truck or one of these from their series or actually any of their printed charts that they are letting other stores purchase to put in theirs for sale, I'm on the auto ship for that. So again, look for these in my store, hopefully the next day or two. I'll try to get them listed in there and um, a few other charts as well that I have sitting here in my pile to add to the store. So I'm super excited to carry those. So I just got those the other day. Like I said, lots of copies. So let's see. <clears throat> The last thing I have to show you, I believe, are the project bags that I purchased. Um, I'd actually gotten these in before my last video, but I forgot to show them in my last video. So I had ordered two bags from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts. Um, I got this one from her. I'm actually using it, using it before I showed it. And the project I have in here, I can't show you because it's my um, secret stitch for my retreat. Um, I'm supposed to go to the Midwest cross stitch retreat, uh, the May 1st weekend, and they had to reschedule it, um, for later this fall because of the virus. So, um, this is holding my project that we're supposed to stitch for class. And then we get to take a finishing class by Kathy Haberman from Hands On Design. So that's what's in this bag. My project stitch for the retreat but her bags are beautifully made Olivia from pumpkin hollow quilts I'll put her Etsy shop name below I'll try to do a link and if it doesn't link at least it'll have the name for you but yeah her stitching is perfect like perfect 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 so pretty actually I have her business card here. So we're at the bottom of my bin of stuff to show. So pumpkin hollow quilts. And here's her information. So, and then at the second bag I ordered from her is this really pretty birds with the vintage letter and the lace. I loved this fabric. And I stuck a project in here. Let's see what it is, I don't know. Oh, this is what the inside looks like. You can't really see, but it's white with, it's got little white flowers. Right there, you can kind of see them. Oh, I stuck my winter Rose Manor in here because I gotten some of the floss and the fabric I had earmarked for it, which I'm not sure about yet. So that's in there, the one I decided to start it. And then the next set of bags I bought um, was off of Instagram. There's a seller on Instagram, uh, the Fabric Peddler. And she, apparently she has a Facebook group too. But I ordered the bags from her on Instagram. And on Instagram, her name is the Fabric Peddler. And then between each of those words, it has a the little underscore at the bottom. So the underscore fabric underscore peddler underscore and then Ohio. And her bags are really pretty too. I got this one. And it's the like the expandable bag. Bet you can't guess why I ordered that fabric. And this one is holding my 
Caterpillar Cross Stitch uh, Hello Pumpkin to be started. Ordered this one with Polar Bears. Again, you saw that I have a thing for Polar Bears too. My kits. This has something in it. Uh, oh, this has my Baby It's Cold Outside in there to be started. Because I had gotten the fabric in the, in the floss. And then I got this one. Again, shocker. This has something in it too. Uh, yeah. This has my Heaven and Earth that I want to start. Um, it was their, the free pattern at one point. Uh, what's this? I don't have the cover picture. But it was a uh, free pattern when Cecil the lion um, was killed by the poacher. And Ardell Nixon, who's the artist for the chart, what's this? They still sell that chart on uh, Heaven and Earth. It's a really pretty one of the lion. He's looking up and the little snow, snow is falling. Um, but when he was first killed, they had offered that as a free pattern to stitch in honor of Cecil. So that's what I actually call it is Cecil. So my Cecil is in my tighter bag. And then I got this one, Wizard of Oz. And this one has cool Wizard of Oz fabric inside. And then I got koalas because of the bushfires to just commemorate the little cute polar bears. It just has a tan fabric in it. And then I had to order one of her pink farm, uh, pink barns for that. So that is everything that I have for you today. So if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. And um, like I said, from my next few videos anyway, probably won't have a lot of haul, not like that anyway. Um, because I haven't ordered anything. Um, I might have, like I said, I'm waiting for that one order from my bobbin with the four kits that I'm still waiting for. And then after that, I'll just have my regular like subscription type stuff. Uh, I'm waiting on two fabrics, my last two fabrics from uh, Stephanie with uh, Fabrics by Stephanie. I'm waiting for my last two fabrics of the month from her. And I think she had mentioned that she got a bunch shipped the other day and she's Pretty much got all of them out now so I should be getting that um, and then just my regular subscription stuff my few magazines and uh, my button boxes but those come every couple of months so that's all I have for you so I appreciate you stopping by and uh, please hit the subscribe button and I love reading the comments I can't thank you enough for everybody that takes the time to leave those that makes my day to read them um, I hope everybody stays safe and um, just try to do your part and reach out to your friend, friends and family. It was really fun last night being able to have virtual stitch night with mom because um, we haven't got to see each other with the virus stuff going on and we've had to cancel our in-person stitch night. So she was off work last night. I was off work. So I thought, what the heck, we'll go ahead and try it. And it was fun and worked really well. So if you can't see your relatives or friends in person, um, try FaceTime if you've never tried it before or, um, you know, something like that. So we ended up FaceTiming for about probably two and a half, three hours. And we both, like I said, started our kits together and just had a good time. So um, stay safe, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.